Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the video. Today, we're going to talk about the Marvel Legends Null Carnage. Um, I guess box wise, it would just say Carnage or whatever. But I'm doing this video because I really enjoyed Absolute Carnage by Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman, as well as all the tie in stuff. And I gotta say, army building this Carnage is a hell of a lot of fun. Now, is it the exact uh, Grendel symbiote that broke off from Null? No, but they did give you the Null symbol for when Carnage first uh, becomes bonded to the Grendel. And the, the Grendel form is the first form. And this is pretty much the second form with uh, less black on the arms and what would be the feet. And then he does take other various forms throughout the comic, but it's really cool to see it come to life. It's really, really fun. And seeing this carnage is really dope because you technically get your army builder because he basically slaps a piece of his symbiote on you and you become possessed and you become his subject, which I thought was really dope. So having this as an army builder is really fantastic. If you haven't read Absolute Carnage or you're not reading Donny Cates' Venom Run, I highly suggest you do. It is pretty fun and wild. It made me care about Eddie Brock again, which uh, pretty difficult to do. <laughs> but anyway... Let's talk about the undead Cletus Cassidy and let's get going. Got to start by saying I really like what Hasbro did with this brand new body. It is smaller, but it's more articulated and it gives you a mix of some of the new and the old. And it just overall feels really good. One thing I am going to talk about, like I said, is the fact that you will get Null's symbol on one of the foreheads. And this is pretty cool. What I suggest and what I've seen before, what other people did is if you're going to army build it, you would black out the eyes because in the, the comic... The eyes are all black and it's pretty much just a null symbol. And if you want the various different forms drawn throughout many artists, you would draw the Grendel symbol across the chest. You would change the eyes to yellow, the symbol to yellow and the mouth to yellow if you want to do that. But overall, I think as a pretty much standard built in carnage, I really like what we have. Articulation wise, we have a really nice up and down as well as a going left and right. And what's really cool is that, like I said, this guy looks really good pretty much no matter what you do with him. He has a really good vibe about, really creepy vibe, but a good vibe. There is a butterfly joint inside. You can do, you can swing it out. We can hit uh, straight up arm poses all the way up. We actually look a little bit more up, as you can see here. There is a bicep swivel. He's double jointed. And you have your standard Marvel Legends joint. We have a really deep ab crunch. As you can see here. So if you want to make him sort of like a zombie or whatever, you can. If you want to have him sachet, you can. Uh, we have our standard twist peg. I'm um, twist peg. Uh, standard waist swivel. It's not like the new Venom and it's not like the new retro waist Spider-Man. But you do get a nice leg going forward. Let me see if my focus. Yeah, my focus is there. It's kind of out of whack today. I'm trying out some new lighting and a new setup. So please bear with me. We are leg can go forward. We have our leg swivel, we are double jointed, and we have a boot swivel as well, which is really, really good. We have our standard Marvel Legends excellent ankle pivot. But yeah, I was saying that uh, outside of the, just how this guy looks, he balances pretty well as well too. Um, I have a couple of dioramas here, but normally I get this guy to balance. I don't know why he's not, oh, there it is. I spoke too soon. <laughs> so yeah, this is just a weird balancing stance, just having fun with him overall but this carnage is fun it's really really good to get him posed up as I'm, you're gonna see here because he can get low with it like he can get a little john low look at that like that is really cool and i really enjoy that kind of stuff because now you can get him up in a bunch of different poses i am army building mine as you know i am a guy who really loves to do army builders and since i love this run I'm definitely going to try to give it as much love as possible as well as giving it some uh my own spin on things as usual so it's really cool um as far as accessories goes we don't get a lot but if you have the original carnage that's going to work with this guy and i'll show you that in a second as well as a few other tips and tricks that maybe i can give you guys to uh heighten your carnage experience now we do have an alternative head and this is the more classic carnage head as opposed to the no one being drawn by Stegman, which that crazy, creepy undead. And the reason why he looks a little bit more creepy is because I don't want to spoil the story, but it is it's a very good reason why. And you'll see. But you'll get this other head, which is very classic carnage. I do appreciate that. 
And then you'll get this back piece here to make it look like his tendrils are being, you know, cool tendrils. They attach to the back and they look, they definitely add flavor and flair to this guy. Not like he doesn't have it already. Now, if we swap on the other heads, we can get a good look at it. You can see he looks just as cool. Definitely looks a little bit more of the classic look. Because Carnage has gone through technically four symbiotes at this point uh, before getting here. So, Well, no, three, and then this is the fourth. So, yeah. What I want to do is uh, I want to show you some tips and tricks, and then we'll jump into those size comparisons. So I'm actually going to bring out another Carnage. You'll see why in a second. <laughs> Outside of the army building factor. I do want to show you the old Carnage's stuff. So let's bring him out real fast. So this is the old Carnage. At least one of them. I believe there was another one. But this is the one that I have. I don't remember which version it is. He has the old classic head on it. But you can see the differences in the heads. The mouths are a bit different. But the eyes are overall the same. But the black uh, flare over the head is completely different. And it's kind of molded on so it looks pretty i said molded on that would be the right word i can't remember but yeah here we are you can pop this head on and it works i have a cletus cassidy head somewhere i cannot find it hopefully i can find it in time for photos but just in case you don't want to know or, or you just in a rush to see just jay has posted the uh uh the may shelf a uh, sculptor shelf head on it so yeah as you can see this looks really good on this marvel legends one and also, if you want, these hands are compatible with that one. That means when you use the extra slicing hand, absolutely works on there. See? So you can slice and dice to your heart's content if you have the old carnage. One more thing I want to show you guys is that if you have the Revolve Tech carnage, it's going to be tough because those hands technically don't work in there. Neither do those pegs, right? But the weapon peg ones, for some reason, they're a little bit bigger. So if you push them all the way in, it technically works. And since he's already red and black, it kind of lines up. These red and black are a little darker, so you have to keep that in mind. As you can see, it comes out very easily. If you want to add a little extra oomph to it, just put a little bit of sticky tack in there, and you should be good to go. So hopefully that will help you. Now, real quick, we're going to... Oh, one more thing I want to do. I want to pop this head on the old one so you guys can see how that is. I know I left him a whole hot mess there. So, yeah, I left him a whole mess. So just bear with me as I just take these these guys right here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop the null head on to see how he looks on this body with the null head. And to be honest, these doesn't look half bad. This does not look bad at all. It's a little shiny, but maybe that's just my light shining on it. But it doesn't look bad at all. I think you can definitely make this work in photos. So... Without further ado, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this guy back together off camera. Then we're going to do some size comparison. So let's get to it. All right. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, y'all. Size time. So we're going to size them up with a bunch of Spider-Man figures first, uh, both domestic and imported. See how far we get and then uh, keep going from there. Right. So mm, let's do that retro wave Spider-Man. that Everybody wants to see him up against. Right. So here is retro wave Spider-Man. Carnage is a little smaller. Um, I don't know if Carnage is official height, but I know he's somewhere in between sometimes bigger than Spider-Man or smaller than, but like he's like a scrapper. So he's like the most dangerous because he's psychotic. But yeah, you never know. Right. And then, uh, well, you do know, but the tin on how you drawn. Here we are with a Marvel Legends Venom. So we have these three guys, our main three guys that we constantly see all the time. And uh, I do not mind this at all. I don't mind this setup at all. Because Carnage is crazy. I don't mind him being a tiny scrapper. Spider-Man's what, like 5'10", so that makes this Carnage technically like what, like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, barely smaller. Uh, and Venom is Venom, the bigger, buffer guy, but not crazy big, until he can change size like every other symbiote. So let's get rid of these two. Let's do a, uh, oh, let's do Kane, because Kane is a little bit bigger, a little bit buffer. So you can see how cool he looks next to Carnage. And they fought with Agent Venom. Uh, crap, I wish I had my Agent Venom to compare it. Before he was known, they did the minimum carnage stuff. So that was pretty cool. Let's get Kane out of there. Let's do a... Let's do a movie Venom. 
in case you guys want to like customize this into a newer venom or you, whatever it is you want to do this guy is massive as you clearly can see so yeah so let's take this guy out now we're going to compare the two carnages where that's going to be the older carnage and the revolted carnage so ooh, almost knocked him down let's get him ooh. I knew that was going to happen. I was trying to prevent it. <laughs> so, my old feet are worn out and legs are warped. I have to work on that. So, here we are with two carnages. Now, the crazy thing that I like about this is all three are very important. I don't want to do this without spoiling the story, even though you've had like a year. I do want people to discover Absolute Carnage on their own. Now, here's what's really cool about it. These don't have to be the same person. Or they could be the same person with different versions of his current symbiote. So I highly suggest you go out and read a bunch of those cool stories. Um, but yeah, I like it. I like the fact that I can have all three and it can either be the same person at different time periods or different people. So I really do like this a lot. Um, I think my favorite is probably going to be the new Carnage because of the null head. It sends it right over the top for me and I really love it. But I do love the Revoltec one. It serves with... Technically, some of the best posability for the craziness that Carnage does, as well as accessibility to weapons. But right now, my favorite is the Null Carnage. So let's take these guys away. And now let's compare to some other stuff. Um, oh, so here he is next to a G.I. Joe. My Cobra Commander has a custom head from uh, 3D Printing Forge. In case you're asking. So yeah. So here is Cobra Commander. Here is a Lord Dracon. Evo 3. And y'all have to excuse the fact that all my domestics are somehow warping at the legs. And I just don't know what it is. So here's Lord Dracon. There we go. All pretty decent heights, right? Let's move these guys back. Let's do an Articulated Icons Ninja. And I forgot to do all my imported Spider-Man stuff. I'll do that in a second. And then we'll do SH Fig Arts Kamen Rider Cougar. Oh, oh, a Mythic Legions. So here we are with Scapular. And then we'll do a Mezco Gold Skull Ninja. So as you can see, Carnage is a pretty decent height. He stands pretty well with both Mezco and the Mythic Legion stuff. But imports, he's a little bigger than, but he does fit in well with all of them. So let's move these guys out, right? Oh, oh Scapular, you did it to me again. Next up, we have the Mafex Miles Morales. He has a custom head from Dance Custom CA. And I think these two look absolutely wonderful together. Carnage is a little bigger, but I'm totally fine with it, the fact that it works out. It really does. I think those two look fabulous. Here we are with Mafex Venom. I think this also works out really well, especially after, you know, reading the Donny Cates run. And then last but not least, the Moffix Spider-Man. All of these guys work out really well with the new Carnage to the point I am very happy with what I have. I really am. This is a very, very nice uh, quad set <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Quadrant, whatever. But yeah, super duper happy with this. This Venom, definitely the bang for your buck in terms of fun. Um, you might be light on accessories, but hey, if you've been reading the book, you know what you want out of this. You know you're going to get it. And uh, you can easily paint it to make it accurate or whatever accuracy you want, depending on the artist that you're going with. But this has been a fantastic figure for me to play with and army build. And I hope everybody's going to have the chance to do that as well, because I do believe they're doing him a case of eight. So enjoy that. Right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for enjoying. Thank you uh, for sticking around. I do appreciate you all. In the meantime, guys, please be good. Do good. Drink your water. Later.